busy day today. I've already been to Target and I tried to vlog and then realized there was no memory card in my camera so that didn't work out. But we are headed to a birthday party. Lucy got invited to her first birthday party in a long time. I think it's only her second birthday party ever. The only one she's ever been to is our friend Carrie's daughter Ellie when she turned one last year. And um, so this will be her second party and there's gonna be like a bounce house, kids, and it'll be super fun. And right after we accepted the invitation to this party, we found out that Matthew's family have a little event going on today. Um, so we're gonna have to leave the party a little bit early to head to the family event. But it should be a fun day, right? Mm -hmm. And also me trying to shop for a three-year-old boy was kind of crazy, but we got it done. Good job, baby. Do you want to try it with the bat? Watch daddy. There you go. Hit it hard, Lily. All done? Okay, time for somebody else's turn. Thank you. Matthew made the mistake of telling Lucy it was time for cake, so that's all she's interested in at this point. Well, that was fun, and they were cutting cake right as we left, so they sent Lucy with a piece. It was super nice, and I I know, we really felt super guilty, but they are like, no, no, no. Um, but anyway, I brought Lucy an extra outfit anyway. I need to wash her car seat anyway. We're just going to let her go to town and be happy. It's cool. Right? Hi, Mommy. Hi, baby. You look like you're enjoying life. Mmm, love that cake. Of course it had to be blue frosting. Yeah. Well, yeah. Day two. Morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Welcome to day two of this vlog because I failed to vlog very much yesterday. So we're going to hang out today also. Yeah. What's up there? Yeah. That's the Grinch and Maxwell. Can you say Maxwell? Maxwell. Yeah, good job. We are at Lowe's this morning because, well, this afternoon, because Matthew wants to check out fire pits. Probably not gonna buy one today, but just like keeping an eye on prices and which ones are available. Um, that's something he really wants to do. <gasps> what do you see? Penguins. Penguins way over there. Good job. This girl and her animals. Um, anyway, fire pits is what we're gonna look at. Something else. I don't remember. What was the other thing we were going to look at? What's that? I don't know. Hopefully we remember. <laughs> but we got distracted by all this Christmas stuff. Apparently a ratchet set or wrench set? What's that? It's a ratchet and wrenches. Oh. Is that a thing? Yeah. And a combo. Yeah. Oh. You see some bears over there? Sometimes oh they're my ratchet. Goodness. Oh. Oh. Are you excited for Christmas? Wow! Wow! All this fun Christmas stuff. I am excited for just the holidays in general this year. Um, getting to be pregnant during the holidays sounds super fun to me. And Lucy's at a super fun age where the holidays get more and more fun every year. So I'm just excited for this time of year. Now if it could just not be a billion degrees, that would be great. The high today is like 90, which is... No bueno when you're shopping for Christmas things. I mean, it's still not, you know, December, but it's too hot. It should cool down. Right, Lucy? Say, come on, winter. It's hot. Oh, it's too hot. Are you giving the penguin a belly rub? No. might decorate our front yard today. Oh, is there, are those are gingerbread men up there in the mixer. Yeah, gin, can you say gingerbread man? Okay, we'll go with bears. Um, anyway, we, ha we have not decorated our front yard since we moved into this house, well, ever, when we've been married. 
Oh my goodness, so cool. So I think maybe we might do it this year, but it's kind of overwhelming to me because I don't want it to just look like Christmas threw up on my front yard. I want it to like be coordinated, and so I just always give up and not, don't put much effort. Is it hot? Did you touch it and it's hot? Yeah, that light's a little hot. Be careful. It is a deer. Be careful. It's a pretty deer. So these cool. You want to show them your cool glasses? These glasses are pretty cool. Let me see if it'll do it for the camera. But if I put these glasses on and look at like the lights on a tree, it makes little Santa Claus faces. Let's see if it works on the lens. Yeah, you guys can see it. Isn't that cool? I thought that was kind of fun. Oh, did Lucy get what she wanted? She's out of the cart. She was down though. I know. Oh no. I think this deer's cool. I'd do this one. But it is, yeah. How much is it? Like $200? 139. That's right. Lucy's right. We're headed to Target. And this is a different Target than when, the one we normally go to. So we're going to see how long it takes Lucy to ask for her juice. Because if you guys have been watching for a while, you know Lucy always gets a little juice Yay, when we come Target. to Target. So we'll see how long it takes her to be like, hey, wait a minute, where's my juice? Wow, I can't believe we made it past the cafe. Yay, Target. Yay, Target. That's right, yay, Target. That's good. Wow, it's stupid. Lucy, what did you say? Juice. We made it all the way through Target. We were headed up to check out, and now she asks for her juice. So Matthew's gonna go get it. Because, like I said, we let her have one every time we come. It's just her little treat. Okay, look what Daddy has. It's Chase. Chase. Yeah. We're just enjoying the nice evening out here in the backyard. Lucy's playing with bubbles, dogs are playing, and I am looking at the Toys R Us catalog, and I'm gonna go through and kind of mark some things that I think might be a good idea for Lucy for Christmas. I am trying very hard to keep Santa, AKA my husband, reined in this year. <laughs> I'm just feeling like she doesn't, we don't need to Spoil, spoil, spoil. Santa doesn't need to spoil, spoil, spoil. And playing with the neighbor dog. And next year, we're gonna have two kids to shop for in, you know, over the next few years, every year. We're gonna, not necessarily every year, but over the next few years, our family's gonna grow. We'll have more and more kids to shop for. We don't need to be spending like a bajillion dollars on Christmas every year. So I thought I would go through here. I would like to get Lucy's um, Christmas shopping done ASAP. Um, just so I'm not like trying to get hot item toys or whatever at the last minute. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing while everybody enjoys the time outside. Lucy, she likes to be right back there in the middle of the dogs playing. But you guys know she's been super into Paw Patrol lately. So we're definitely looking at some Paw Patrol stuff. And yeah, I don't know, give me, give me some of your ideas. What are you guys getting for your two year olds? I would love to know, give me some some plans. What are you guys doing? You guys, look how lucky I am at bedtime. Lucy just climbs right in all by herself. Do you climb into your big girl bed? Yes. And then I sit right here on the edge and read her story. You can see that we just shoved the crib back there. And now that the secret's out, I can let you know that the timeline to put her in her big girl room is like March or April. Um, that way it gives me enough time to make whatever changes I need to make to this room for the new baby before they get here in May. Um, yeah, isn't she such a big kid? Just coming right into her bed, sleeping in her big girl bed and never getting out. Okay, I'm gonna read her a story real quick and then I'll catch up with you guys. And we're back in my room with Betty. And Howard is over there somewhere. He blends in because he's gray like the sheets. I really need to give him a bath and a haircut before it gets, I mean it's still like a million degrees here, but I wanna do it before it starts getting cold because if I do it, like, you know, a little bit ahead of time, then he has a little bit more hair by the time it starts to get cold and he can last through the winter. But um, not like he would freeze, like he wouldn't need another haircut through the winter and he would still have enough hair to be warm. Anyway, I just haven't done it yet, I haven't had the energy. Probably what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna break down and just take him to a groomer and let them do it because I've just been too tired to get it done at night. And trying to get it done when Lucy's awake is craziness. 
but that's all for this weekend matthew and kenneth are going to play some video games i'm going to stay up here and edit and hopefully get this video up before tomorrow at 10 a.m we'll see you guys will know whether or not i succeeded i have not been great about i i've been good about being on the right days i've not been great about being on time but what can you do but anyway if you want to follow us on snapchat and instagram make sure you're doing that and i usually post on both of those daily and you can see what we're up to what we're doing what fun little activities lucy and i are doing throughout the day and i will see you guys next time bye